guys. Okay. We know what a jab is. We know what a jab cross is, right? Jab is actually, just want to make sure that you know that jab is basically a punch that's um, the same side as your leading leg, okay? So jab, and then jab cross is one of them. Okay, these are, actually you can do them against a Muay Thai bag, or you can just do this on your own, like in, in front of the mirror doing shadow boxing, okay? So, first one, 50 seconds, just the left side. You're just gonna jab, jab. And the idea is you're just gonna pull back, retract as fast as you can, work on that negative. Then the timer goes off, switch. Write down your scores, switch. Now we're gonna do jab on the right side, okay? Keep that posture, keep that guard. Keep this hand here as we're throwing punches. Look through your forehead, have your chin down, have the guard, and as you're throwing the punches, you want to make sure that you're on guard, okay? So make sure that you're doing them with correct form. It's awkward at first if you've never done them. You don't want to be doing this, okay? You don't. So keep that neck, keep that chin down, protect and guard your precious jewel here. And write down your scores. Number three is left jab, right? And then cross, so same. You get at 50 seconds of just doing this. Make sure you're moving the base leg as we're doing a cross and make sure that you're looking through your, elbow, your um, forehead. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. And think always about coming right back. Your hands are rubber band, they're snapping right back, right into the guard position. So that's three and four. Five and six is uh, two roundhouse kicks, same leg, okay? So starting with the left, we're gonna do round, round, okay? It's kinda like if you wanna do high, low, that's fine. But two roundhouse kick with the same leg. You're gonna count as many, so two kicks count as one, so one, okay? Two, whoo, what's going on? Two, three, Okay, and then you, so on. Then we're gonna switch. Write down how many you did. Then we're gonna switch and we're gonna go the other way. And you can round, round. Okay, and get the better. Slow it down, make sure that you're kicking in the right place. And watch your form. Okay, then we got double rounds. Now these are, practice a lot with the bag, but you can do shadow kicks too. So we're gonna do double round like that in the air. Double round like that for advance if you do Taekwondo. Never done Taekwondo. One, two. That's all. Starting with the left. One, two. To the body, you don't have to go high. One, two. If you're advanced and you can kick high, go for it. But um, this is a body shot, okay? Um, then we're gonna switch to the other side. 50 seconds of double round, the other side, okay? Um, nine and 10 is the left jab, spin hammer fist with your right. Again, this is really good with the bag, but you're gonna go, shadow boxing is really good because you need to find your balance and center. So jab, hammer fist, back. Jab, hammer fist, or regroup, okay? Jab, hammer fist, come right back. Okay, you get dizzier this way, or just go jab, hammer fist, and step back. Made that full circle. So each time you jab, each time you're doing a hammer fist, that counts as one. Then we're gonna switch. Jab, hammer fist, come back. Jab, hammer fist, Hammer fist is right here. Okay, in case you didn't know, the angle is like this, and you're striking and try to don't ex don't hyper extend, and always have um, a slight bend when you're doing any kind of punches, any kind of striking here. Even you don't extend all the way out, you will hurt yourself if you do that. Okay, especially in shadow boxing. So pay attention, be careful, and practice safely. Okay. Um, 
Next one is jab, right elbow, and then spin hammer fist. So same thing, we're just adding uh, an elbow. I right, just want to double check. Yep, so we're going to do jab, elbow, and then we're going to swift spin the other way, hammer fist. Regroup. Jab, uh, jab, elbow, now come back into a hammer fist. So you see what I did? Basically, you're doing jab, throwing that elbow as you come back. Okay, that saves time and you gain momentum. Okay, jab, elbow, hammer fist. Okay, spin hammer fist. So that's it. Repeat that on both sides. Okay, well, repeat just one side. Um, write down the scores and then the timer goes off. You're gonna switch and go the other way. Then, um, jab, oh my god, a lot of jabs here, I'm sorry, no, alternating uppercuts, this is kind of like working your core, 50 seconds, you're going to actually put your legs, yep, just, we're not going to go on a fighting stance because we're alternating, so we're just going to be in this position here, legs are side to side, and we're going to do jab, that's one, two, three, four, five, okay? And you don't want to do this. I don't want to see, okay? I don't want to see that. I want to actually see this come out and come back in. One, two. See how I'm snapping it right back, okay? Try to keep the elbows close to your body and torque with your body as we're drawing the punch. Same principle. Okay, you're gonna write down the scores. We're going to do, do hooks, so we're going to go hook, okay? You don't need to go like this. You don't want to, you know what I mean? You want to hook, 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 okay? It's like sliding over the table, okay? Now, I like to do my hooks like this. I have, I feel like I have a lot more power because, right, it's kind of like, it's a natural movement. Some people do this. And that's fine, depends and uh, what you're more comfortable with. But for me, I feel this is more secure, but I go this way too. Variation. What you don't want to do is uh, this kind of thing, okay? Um, that puts tension on my shoulders. So, okay, so give that a go. And then we're gonna do the left Superman elbow. Now this again was intended for the, the back, but you can do this. Um, just go slow and with nice and control. What you're gonna do is starting with your left leg leading. We're gonna actually just bring the elbow. As we bring the elbow, we're gonna bring the knee up. We're gonna bring the knee up and we're gonna bring that knee downwards as we do the elbow strike. Now, obviously, you're supposed to jump up and hit the back. If you're shadow boxing, you're gonna control it a little. So you just wanna have this motion, okay? To get that torque, okay? Just be careful with your back. Go light and then go the other side. Same thing, bring that knee up and as we're striking, we're pushing back on the leg, okay? So, like this. I can't do it. I can do one side only, okay? See that? Bring that up. It's kind of like a fake. It's like, here comes the knee, here comes that knee, boom, okay? And same thing, here comes that knee, boom, okay? So that's, that's what you're doing. So starting with the left, right elbow, Superman. Count as many as you can do. One side is always gonna feel awkward. Gonna, that's why you need to practice that, okay? Um, the last one is called the side back, and if you're a Taekwondo martial artist, you know what that is, against the bag, um, but if you're shadow boxing, what you're going to do is you're going to do it to the air, left leg leading, starting with that, we're going to do a side kick, then turn your body, back kick, and then come back, that's one, side kick, back kick. That's two, okay? 
and we're going to continue right down the score. And we're going to switch to the right side. Side kick, back kick, come back. Always look in the direction that you're kicking. So side kick, back kick, land forward and come back, or land back, or whatever is more easier for you, okay, without getting dizzy. Um, and that's it. It's really um, a fun drill to do against a bag because as you get advanced, you do this in the air. But for right now, basic, beginner, side kick, back kick, and regroup, okay? And then when you're doing the other side, side kick, back kick, and regroup. That's it. So this is kickboxing bag drills, but you can do it without the bag. As I just demonstrated, I did everything without the bag. So um, if you have a bag, so much better, but you actually do need to practice shadow boxing to maintain control and balance and finding your center. That's it guys, I hope you enjoy the workout and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Free daily exercise .com. Get it done at home.